Hi, I'm Terry with Cross Technology, and this is the 9160 wireless thermometer unit. Typically, you'll find a package in a blister pack like this, and you'll notice we have a decal showing that it has a 330 foot range. That range is decreased by half each time it goes through a wall or a window. Let's open this up and show you how to do the startup and the setup for it. Inside the package for the 9160, you'll find basically two devices. This is your outdoor sensor, which will transmit the temperature to the weather station itself, and this is the station. One of the first things we're going to do is take the protective covering off the station, and there's no need to keep that. The sensor will be attached to a mounting clip, and this just mounts to the side of the house or wherever you're going to put the sensor. We power the sensor first, and this sensor uses two AA batteries, and the direction of the batteries is printed inside the case. Once the batteries are inserted, with the backpack on and we want to move this sensor about three to five feet away. The next thing we'll do within 30 seconds is put power to the display unit. To do that we push down on the tab to open the battery case and we put a pair of AAA batteries into this again following the directions on the back of the case. You'll notice a firmware number come up that'll disappear rather quickly and you'll see three things. 12 o'clock the default time the current indoor temperature, which in our room here is 77.3 Fahrenheit, and a flashing icon. That icon states that the weather station is searching for the sensor, and it may take up to two minutes to find that. Once it does, this area will populate and we'll have an outdoor temperature. Okay, our weather station has picked up the outdoor temperature, and now it's time for us to set the time. Simple operation, we press the set button and hold it, we'll see 12H begin to flash. We have an option of 12 hour time or 24H which is military or European time and we select that with the plus button. We're going to use 12 hour time. We'll hit the set button once again. The hour is flashing and we get to set the time of day now by using the plus button each click being an hour. And we want to watch for PM to show up to the left of the numbers and we'll set this for about 310 PM. Once we have our hour set, we press the set button and release it once again. The minutes are flashing. We use the plus button again, each click being one minute. And we're at 310. We click the set button one more time and your weather station is set. One of the things about this weather station that is nice is the back plate is actually a stand, which makes a nice desk stand for it. About at the end of a year or so, which is the general life for the batteries in these units, you'll see the display show blanks for the outdoor area, the three dashes. What you do then, as far as the battery replacement, is just a general restart of the unit. We do that by bringing our sensor into the house, and we're going to remove the batteries from the sensor and from the display. When you take the batteries out of the display, what you want to do is press any button on here. I tend to use the set button 20 times. And then you should let the display and the sensor rest without batteries for 15 minutes before restarting. At the end of that 15 minutes, you're going to put a new set of batteries into the sensor first. Move that sensor about 5 or 6 feet away. Put a set of batteries, a new set of batteries, into the display station itself. And it should start up exactly the same way as it did initially, giving you the firmware version, 12 o'clock, 78.4 degrees, and searching. This one has already found the outdoor temperature. You do want to wait 15 minutes after it's found the outdoor temperature to let it firm up on the signal before setting the time. Okay, here's the same 9160 unit. You'll notice this one's in blue. It does come in different colors. And one of the uh, features that's uh, kind of notable on this, you can run up to three different outdoor sensors with this unit, and they're selectable by using the channel button. If there are multiple sensors located by the system, it'll show numbers, and just pressing the channel button will change those channels. Outdoor sensors are often used by people for monitoring the garage, monitoring the outdoor temperature, obviously, but we also have customers who've used them to monitor their wine cellars, 
to monitor the temperature in arboretums and greenhouses and just to monitor the temperature in other rooms of the house.